While Kiev waits nervously for Moscow's next move, in London there was concerted diplomatic activity through day and night. Before dawn, the Foreign Secretary arrived in Downing Street, where in the Cobra meeting room, the Prime Minister was briefed by defence chiefs and national security advisers. He emerged later in the House of Commons to condemn Russia's actions in the strongest possible terms. The House should be in no doubt that the deployment of these forces in sovereign Ukrainian territory amounts to a renewed invasion of that country. If that set expectations as to the force of the sanctions he would impose, the long-awaited package was rather lighter than the rhetoric. The UK will take action against these five Russian banks involved in financing the Russian military or bankrolling the invasion of Ukraine. It will also freeze the UK assets of three oligarchs in Putin's inner circle. Gennady Chimchenko, Russia's sixth richest man. Boris Rottenberg, a childhood friend and judo partner of the president and his nephew Igor, worth over a billion. MPs across the political divide had expected much more. Should it not be that we need to hit them if we're going to hit them with sanctions hard and hit them now? They need to feel the pain. We have failed to stop the flow of illicit Russian finance into Britain. Yeah. A cottage industry does the bidding of those linked to Putin, and Russian money has been allowed to influence our politics. London has long been known as Russia's laundromat. The streets of Knightsbridge and Kensington are washed with dirty cash. And the government and other political parties have been accused of accepting donations of tainted Russian money. Bill Browder, who campaigns against Russian corruption, believes now is not the time for the UK to hold back. It was an extremely tepid response to a world-changing uh, act of aggression by Vladimir Putin. The people who were sanctioned, the three oligarchs who were sanctioned, um, have, were sanctioned four years ago by the United States. And that's hardly going to make Putin quake in his shoes and change his course of action. The Prime Minister stressed more severe sanctions will follow, including preventing Russia from hosting the Champions League final in May. Here, the cost is already being felt. The price of oil has soared, pushing prices up at the pumps. Yet the West is taking the gamble that the strongest sanctions should yet be held in reserve. Romilly Weeks, News at 10.